So if you guys are new parents like us and you are looking for the top dog in sound machines, you've probably taken a look at both the Hatch Rest and the Hatch Rest Plus. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at both of these models and which one might be the best for you. Let's get into it. Now, if you're a new parent or if you're about to become a parent, you've likely heard or read about creating a good sleeping environment for your infant. This is not only gonna help you get better sleep, but it's also gonna help your infant develop healthy sleep patterns moving forward. Now, an important part of that sleep environment is a good quality sound machine. So today we're gonna take a look at the Hatch Rest and the Hatch Rest Plus, which at the making of this video, both of these are still available and on the market. Now, the price difference between these two is about $30 retail on Amazon, but is there really $30 worth of difference between these two products? And today we're gonna to take a look at both of these and see which one comes out on top, which one we prefer, and what features and functions might make the Hatch Rest Plus a better choice for you. Now, both of these systems offer a huge number of functions and features, but the Hatch Rest Plus just adds a few more bells and whistles and a couple of refinements. But there is quite a price difference between the two with the Hatch Rest on the market now for about $59.99 on Amazon and the Hatch Rest Plus being about $89.99 on Amazon. Now let's start with the original, the Hatch Rest. Now this is the first unit that we actually put in our son's nursery and it retails for about $59.99 on Amazon. This is the one that we had on our registry and it's the one that we've actually used for the last couple of months. So we have a lot of experience with it. Now the Hatch Rest, just like the Hatch Rest Plus, has a capacitive touch sensitive ring on the top. Now this ring allows you to easily turn the unit on and off, as well as to cycle through the different colors and soundscapes that come preloaded in the machine. Now the Hatch Rest also features controls on the bottom, which let you turn the unit up and down, change the brightness, power it on and off, as well as change the sound that's playing through the sound machine. Now, as with both of these units, you can control them with the Hatch Rest app, which you can download for your iOS or Android devices. Through this app, you can change the color, you can turn the volume up or down, and you can actually change the sound that's playing through the machine or power the unit on and off. You can also use the app to set up different routines. So if you have a toddler that is struggling to stay in bed, you can actually set it so that it has a sleep and wake time where the light will stay red when the toddler's supposed to stay in bed and then will turn green when they have the green light to get out of bed. We like this feature a lot because we can use this to actually turn the unit on and off on a schedule because we know at a certain time we're gonna give our son a bath and then he's gonna be in bed and we can start preparing him for a good night's sleep. Now both the Hatch Rest and the Hatch Rest Plus get plenty loud enough for you to drown out any household noises or knocks that might wake your baby up or startle them out of their sleep. We personally have never gone above 50% on either of these units and that has been plenty to keep the environment loud so that he can actually get a good night's rest. Now in case you guys didn't know this, and this was news to me when I found it out, it is actually about as loud as a vacuum cleaner inside the mother's womb before a baby is born. So when they come out into the world and they have all kinds of sudden noises or they don't have enough noise, that's actually part of the reason that they don't sleep well. So a good loud sound machine is gonna be the key to helping you get a better night's rest and help your little one feel more comfortable in their new environment. Now let's talk about the Hatch Rest Plus. This is the newest model from Hatch and they are no longer called Hatch Baby, they are just called Hatch because they branched out into several other areas including adult sleep machines. Now the newest unit, the Hatch Rest Plus, retails for $89.99 on Amazon as of the making of this video. Now the majority of the features and functions are the same. The basic function of a sound machine is to provide different sounds to help your baby get a better night's sleep. It still has the capacitive touch ring on the top. It still has the same soundscapes that were preloaded in the Hatch Rest. It also has a customizable combination of colors and sounds that you can control through the app. Now let's get into the differences between these two. Whereas the Hatch Rest used to be controlled by Bluetooth and had a limited distance with which you could be away from the unit to actually control it with the app, 
the Hatchress Plus is actually now controlled over Wi-Fi. And that means that no matter how far away from the unit you are, as long as you're connected to the Wi-Fi network, you should be able to turn the machine up and down, turn it on or off, set your routines and more from anywhere with your smartphone. And if we look at the two side by side, we'll notice some physical differences as well. The Hatchrest Plus is a little bit taller now, and the logo has moved from the front of the unit to the top of the unit. The reason being is they've now integrated a clock on the front of the unit, which can be turned on or off through the smartphone app. Another big change that we'll see on the outside of the unit is that they have actually moved the controls from the bottom of the unit to the back of the unit. So you can now change the volume up or down and change the brightness on the back of the hatch rest plus, whereas you had to actually pick up the hatch rest and use the controls on the bottom of the unit. Now for us, this was a huge feature improvement. It might seem like a little thing, but if you're fumbling around in the dark and trying to turn something up or down or try to change the brightness so your kid can get a better night's sleep, flipping a unit upside down to find the right button versus just reaching around the back and being able to feel the button to turn it up or down or turn the brightness up or down makes a huge difference. Again, that might sound like a small thing, but when you're sleep deprived and you're trying to deal with a screaming baby, it makes all the difference in the world. Now there is one feature of the Hatch Rest Plus that I think makes it worth the 30 extra dollars. And that is the fact that the Hatch Rest Plus now has an integrated backup battery. Now, what's great about this is you can actually just pick the unit up, unplug it, and take it with you. So for example, if you have a travel crib downstairs and you want your kid to be able to nap in the living room, you can create the same soundscapes that they have in their room or in their nursery in the living room, which is gonna help keep them consistent and keep their sleep consistent across the board. Now for us, this was a huge plus because we like to travel, we like to go visit family, and the ability to have a battery powered unit just in case we either lose power or for somewhere where the unit just can't be plugged in makes all the difference for us. That means that no matter where we go, we'll have a sound unit that we know can get loud enough and that we know he's used to and is gonna create that consistent sleep environment for him. Now, another big update with the Hatch Rest Plus over the Hatch Rest is the fact that you can now use the Hatch Rest Plus as an audio monitor. Now, for us, this wasn't a make or break feature simply because we have an audio capable monitor in his room already looking into his crib, but for on the go or for emergency situations, it would be great to be able to just listen to him directly through the sound machine. Now, I will note, if you do have the sound going, it can be a little bit hard to actually hear your child over the sound of the white noise or television sound, whatever sound you happen to be using on the Hatch Rest Plus, but in a pinch, it will work. Now, the final improvement of the Hatch Rest Plus over the Hatch Rest is Amazon Alexa integration. Now, for us, this isn't a big deal. We use a lot of Google Home devices, so we don't use this as much. But for you, if you have a lot of Amazon devices, this may make a lot of sense. You can now just tell Alexa to turn the unit on or off, change the color, turn it up or down. There's a whole list of commands that you can use without even lifting a finger and just by using your voice. Now, the ultimate question. If I had to spend the money on another one, which one would I pick? Now the truth is the Hatch Rest has about 90% of the features of the Hatch Rest Plus. So that means that you're gonna get almost everything you get in the Hatch Rest Plus from the Hatch Rest, but at a significantly lower price point. So if you're looking to save a little bit of money, the Hatch Rest is absolutely the way to go. If I had to spend my own money again or make another decision on a sound machine, personally, I would choose the Hatch Rest Plus. The benefits for me are the Wi-Fi connectivity where you get better range and better control and more stable control from anywhere within your house. The integration of the backup battery, which for us is a big deal because we wanna travel and be able to move it around the house whenever we want. And if the power goes out, we want the unit to keep working. That was the biggest change for us. And then finally, just the functionality of the device, the actual having the controls around the back instead of on the bottom. Although again, it sounds like a small design change, it is makes a very big difference when you're, again, fumbling around in the dark, trying to adjust it. If you don't have your smartphone with you, it's very easy to just reach around behind it and turn the unit on or off, up or down, or change your colors. Now, here's the thing, guys. Depending on your lifestyle, you are not gonna be disappointed with either one of these. Now the Hatch Rest provides a great sound machine that you're going to be able to use from infancy all the way through toddlerhood. 
And the Hatch Rest Plus just takes a lot of those features and amps them up just a little bit. Just enough for me to say that I think the Hatch Rest Plus comes out on top for us, but ultimately I don't think you're gonna be disappointed in either choice. So if you're looking to save a little bit of money, go with the Hatch Rest. If you want the biggest, baddest, best one that has the most features, go with the Hatch Rest Plus. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching today's video. Thank you so much for watching our review of the Hatch Rest and the Hatch Rest Plus. If you like this kind of content, be sure to click that thumbs up button. If you loved it, hit subscribe and make sure to hit that bell notification so that you can know when I put up new content. If you have any questions or want to add your piece to this, please feel free to leave a comment below. I've also linked to each one of these devices on Amazon so that you can quickly and easily find them if this is something you want to register for or that you're interested in. Thanks again for taking the time to watch and I hope that this was helpful. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.